Hi everyone, welcome back to my final Christmas video of 2022. And as it's Christmas Eve, I figured I would do something very, very apt, very Christmas Eve-y. And that is to make eight beautiful reindeer using gold and silver. Yes, I did think about using red glitter, but figured you'd seen enough. <laughs> so we are going to be dusting the molds with these gold and silver powders. Now they're not mica powders, they're just silver and gold metallic powders and they create the most stunning effect when they are brushed into the silicon molds. Now these silicon molds are my absolute best Amazon purchase of 2022. I did do a whole video on an Amazon haul that I did and since then I honestly I've just used them a lot. I've used them a lot. I could have easily used them a lot more than I have done but anyway we are here. It is Christmas tomorrow. I cannot even believe where we are. Like I cannot, where has December gone? Like where has December gone? I've said it before and I will say it again. I literally sit down at the beginning of every month and I write a list. I have lists on my phone. I have lists handwritten in a book and I fill out my calendar. What is my month going to look like in videos? And I sat down at the beginning of November to work out Christmas. I ran out of time again. I don't understand. Am I meant to start Christmas in August? Like, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly, guys. And even with three videos a week, I still did not manage to sneak in. I didn't manage to squeeze in all of the things that I wanted to do this year. But I just want to take this moment to thank you all so, so much. I cannot, I cannot even, you know... I'm emotional right now because I just don't even know how to thank you all. I did reach 80,000 subscribers a week ago. So yeah, a whole exact week ago, I reached 80,000 subscribers and I just honestly couldn't believe it. Like I wanted to reach 80,000 subscribers for Christmas, but to me, that was a big stretch. That was a bit of a dream. And I thought maybe New Year's, maybe by 2023, I'll reach 80,000 subscribers and you guys, you made it happen a week before Christmas and I'm not even crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, honestly. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for everyone here, for all of your support all year. And yeah, this is my final Christmas 2022 video. I cannot believe it. I honestly cannot believe it. Anyway, back to the video. Oh my gosh, Claire, sort your life out. <laughs> okay, we are dusting. I've dusted two moulds with the gold bronze and two moulds with the silver. Now the plan is, we all know, black resin works best when we are dusting moulds. Black resin is the one colour that really makes your powders, your micas, your chameleons, it really makes them pop. It truly does. So I am using Vista Turbo Resin alongside Vista Black Liquid Pigment uh, to fill these up. <laughs> to fill these up. And you pretty much, that's it. <laughs> I'm, this is the one voiceover where I'm really struggling, guys. I'm struggling because I'm just so emotional today. Um, but yeah, massive thank you. That's all I have. <laughs> we are filling these up. And um, this story, you will all know this story. Um, as it is the night before Christmas. And this is one of the stories that bring back a lot of memories. A lot of memories. It was my favourite story growing up. Um was the night before Christmas and all through the house etc etc <laughs> I don't know it off by word I should off by heart should I say um but yeah I figured I've got enough molds to make each and every reindeer in that story um apart from the main red-nosed man himself there's quite a copyright on him apparently you can't just go and you know reproduce him I didn't realize there was such a strong copyright so I hope I hope I'm, I'm I hope I don't get busted on this video but you know we shall see worst case scenario just means I have to <laughs> change the title or something but yes I thought I'd zoom in on some of these areas because the way the black was interacting with the powder was beautiful it was making the silver and the gold powder 
run through and just create these beautiful rivers of lines of gold and silver and I absolutely loved it so yeah I did zoom in on a couple of places there for you um but also to mention this powder is a is annoying in so many ways I can't remember where I got it I think I bought it about three four years ago from eBay and as stunning as it is oh boy oh boy it gets everywhere <laughs> It gets everywhere so there is a bit of a cleanup to be done the resin picks it up like a dream and it will it will pick up every bit of powder in those molds the actual molds will be pristine clean like brand new but all that powder around the edge ugh, that's the powder that will need a lot of work so I will be using sellotape alongside alcohol alongside wipes alongside all of it to clean them off but here we are, we are 24 hours later and we are demolding. Now, this is Vista Turbo, so I could demold that evening, but I got busy and so this is the next day and I love them so, so much. We do have some overspill because when do we not have overspill? Like one day, one day guys, I will not have any overspill. So yeah, I just chip it off. At this point, it's, 20, it's the next day. You can chip it off quite easily. Don't let it set for too long. If it's super thick overspill, don't let it set for too long. Um, but also, you can use a craft blade. I do actually go in around the edges with my craft knife and just, just go slowly, go real carefully and just carve off the overspill around those edges. Luckily, this was really thin overspill, so it just comes off really, really easily. But I love the effect of these we've got some stunning metallic looking silver reindeer as well as gold reindeer and i think as a whole set they work so so beautifully and i've already pre-cut my vinyl it's the last christmas video of 2022 you don't need to see me <laughs> actually weeding vinyl because yeah even even as the time goes by, it's still not my favourite thing to do. So it's time to collect them all up, get my vinyl transferred onto the transfer tape. And here we are. We have Dasher on the silver. I think it's absolutely beautiful. We have Dancer on the gold. Now, this font is called Baby Darling. I actually downloaded this font from a website called Da Font. D A. F-O-N-T, da font, and it is one of my favourite fonts, I absolutely love it, and here they all are, with Vixen and Comet and Cupid, honestly, I had a lesson learned in this video, I did not know that Donna and Blixen, Donna, Donda and Blitzen, are spelled differently around the world, did you know this, I feel like I've been lied to my whole life, what, Donna can be Donda, and Blitzen can be Blitzen. Now, I do believe I was raised on Blitzen. So B-L-I-T-Z-E-N. But when I actually Googled it, there were so many different definitions of these two reindeer. Everyone else, no, they had their name from the beginning and they stuck to it. But Donna and Blitzen, Blixen and Donda, I mean, what? Who knew? I decided to go with Blixen because I actually prefer it over Blitzen. Um... That was all. That was all. <laughs> my little overdramatic I've been lied to my whole life kind of story. I think if you were to buy the book the night before Christmas, it's probably spelled Blitzen, B-L-I-T-Z-E-N. But after going on to Google and Wikipedia to learn that there's all these different variations of these names that I never knew, I decided to change it up a bit and stay with Blitzen on these. But how adorable are these? I've added red ribbon and I've put them on my very professional backdrop of Christmas potpourri just so you can see them in all of their glory. I don't know why Cupid and Donna ended up both being gold. I was trying to do silver, gold, silver, gold, silver, gold and I don't know, my brain just didn't do it properly and I ended up with two golds next to each other. But you know what? It's all good. They're not going to be next to each other on the tree. So I think this is such a cute idea and it just so happened that these moulds lent themselves to it. These moulds come in a two-pack. They will be linked below, of course, if you want to get ready for next year. They will be linked below. Now, they do come in a two-pack, which meant I bought two packs, <laughs> which gave me enough to make all eight reindeer from the story the night before Christmas. And I love them. I really, really love them. Sorry for getting emotional earlier in the video. I honestly don't know how I'm going to react if I ever reach 100k. I might actually go live. I was thinking of going live 
on the verge of reaching 100k so that we could all share that together like I don't know maybe when I'm like 10 away from 100k then I'll go live and we can see in that new milestone together because yeah I might I might actually cry on a live stream <laughs> on a live stream maybe nobody needs to see that but yeah sorry for my emotions it's a bit it's a bit much <laughs> it's a bit much to have reached 80,000 it was like a a number I never ever expected to reach so Merry Christmas. I hope you have a beautiful time, whatever it is you are doing. It is currently Christmas Eve. So if you are with me in the live chat, seriously, that's going to make me cry even more because thank you for spending your time with me on Christmas Eve. I appreciate you massively. And I think I need a strong cup of tea. Because <laughs> Yeah, thank you so, so much. Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow. It's just going to be me, Tim and the puppy. And I'm going to be about eight pound heavier by the end of the day. <laughs> because yeah, for me, it's all about food. I don't know if you knew that, but it is. <laughs> have a wonderful Christmas and I will see you in the next video. I usually take a break between Christmas and New Year's, but I still have projects I want to do. So there's going to be no break. I am back as normal on Monday with Monday's video and I will see you then. Bye!